All right, Samantha, thank you. And also on 7 this morning, new revelations over the resignation of a South Florida University president. As 7's Joe Rhodes explains, the former FIU president, now part of an internal investigation. New insights Sunday into the sudden departure of Florida International University's president, Dr. Mark Rosenberg. In a statement, he thanks the community for the concern and goes on to write about his wife. Rosalie, a type 1 diabetic on insulin for 45 years, has advanced dementia, MS, and is largely wheelchair bound. I have been her nightly caregiver for over a decade, but Rosalie's condition entered a new stage in just the last few months resulting in further cognitive debilitation. When I finally realized the impact that her condition had on my personal well-being in late October 2021, I sought professional mental health services and am still under a specialist's care. He goes on, regrettably, these issues spilled over to my work and I caused discomfort for a valued colleague. I unintentionally created emotional, not physical, entanglement. I have apologized. I apologize to you. I take full responsibility and regret my actions. Rosenberg then explains that in consultation with the chair of the board of trustees, I realized that an immediate change would be healthy for all parties. Rosenberg's departure Friday night stunned students on campus. Honestly, I didn't see it coming. Rosenberg was the fifth president at FIU, taking the helm in 2009, and he was the first faculty member to ascend to that position. He's credited with increasing enrollment to 58,000 students and also improved the graduation rate by 23 percent. He was a really good president. I'm definitely going to remember him. But despite rave reviews and more than a decade of leadership, missing from a Friday afternoon Board of Trustees emergency meeting to appoint a new president was any mention of Rosenberg's long list of accomplishments. In fact, his name was never mentioned at all. The board addressing that in their own statement Sunday, Dean Colson writing Rosenberg's statement now provides insight into why the board did not believe Friday was the appropriate time to celebrate the many accomplishments of FIU the past 13 years. We are deeply saddened and disappointed by the events requiring his resignation. The only FIU official to mention Rosenberg's name publicly on Friday was the school's new interim president during this taped video message released Friday night. I want to thank former president Mark Rosenberg for his leadership and hard work in helping to make FIU what it is today. I know that we will continue to elevate our university to new heights. Joe Rotes, Today in Florida. A source telling the Miami Herald that a female FIU employee confided in a colleague that Rosenberg had been harassing her for months, making several unwanted romantic advances. That triggered the investigation in mid-December.